Hello everybody, I am Carlo from Terragon.de and today we want to see another tutorial for OpenPose. And we want to run OpenPose in Windows. So, because many of you, I think, we use Windows as operating system. Uh, in this example, we use Windows 10. Um, and we just start. But to give a short example of what we want to do, we want to use one image and one video and we want to uh, let open pose detect the actual pose of the photo so he will detect the eyes the nose the shoulders uh, and the arms and in the video he will detect all the people with all the poses and we will see if it works or it if it doesn't work so the first thing we have to do is to go to Google and go for open pose. And it's the first one here, CMU Perceptual Computing Lab, open pose on GitHub. And um, here is the project. So we can see what will happen, hopefully, with our footage also. And um, But we don't want to deal so much with these files. We just scroll down to the latest features section and here the Windows Portable Binaries and Demo. We click on that. And there are uh, different versions. Um, I have the best experience with OpenPose version 1 to 1. And that's why I want to focus on that. And here is the Win 64-bit uh, binaries in the zip file, and I want to download this zip file. Click on that. Because I have already downloaded this before, I have created a folder here that contains the all the documents, and it has an instructions text file, which we should uh, read. And we are instructed to double click on the models, get models, but that uh, really works. I don't use that but file so often, but uh, we go here into the models, see get models, but um, just double clicking it and it will download many, many files. It will take a while depending on your internet connection. So I've already done that also. So we can still skip that part here. And it's important to know that this software is uh, using the command line in Windows. So it doesn't have a graphical user interface. And so we have to open our command line. In German it's Eingabeaufforderung, but it should be in your language. So we go to desktop and we go to open pose cpu because i named this directory here like that and um, then we have to read the instructions again and especially the quick start guide that is here so we copy that go back to the browser and paste it here and here are some example um, yeah, commands he needs to perform his actions. So we are we want to run on video and we want to run video on Windows. So if we have the command line um, wait a second here in the folder of open pose, then we can just copy this line here. And we see he is uh, opening the open post demo exe that is here uh, in the bin folder open post demo exe and what we also see is that he is expecting in the folder examples media a video rv file of course if you change that to another directory it's also not a problem but I used the same directory here, the media and video.mp4. 
here is RV, but MP4 works also. So we go back here, paste that in, and I have to change video MP4 because it's the file name. Then we just hit return, and he is opening a new window. I try to make it smaller so that you can see. And you can see that he is, whoa, it's a 4K footage, so it's a very big, uh, a very big video. So you also see that it works with uh, 4K. And here you can see, okay, every person that is detected by the system here gets this bones, bone structure. So he will detect the shoulders, the back. Um, he expect, uh, expects uh, eyes, but he is not finding, so it's a bit weird. But the people who are in front of looking in front of the camera, uh, he is detecting the head, shoulders, body, legs, arms, and everything. So here you see the result uh, of open pose for videos. I think it's quite impressive. Um, maybe in one of the next videos I will show you how to uh, pull the exact coordinates of all the points here. Um, but I didn't prepare for this video that. So we close that again and stop this tutorial. And I wish you good luck and much fun to try it on your own. Bye bye. Ah, oh wait, maybe it's interesting for you to see uh, the comparison between the two videos. Uh, you can see here, this one is live, not live, but it's the video footage, and this is here with the recognition. So you see it's not a fake, it's a real detection. Okay, so thank you, bye-bye.